So recently in a TFL chat room sequence, a conversation I had with David T, he asked, Rob, yesterday you did two sell trades on the Euro Canadian dollar. You used the one minute chart. You sold on reversal tab plus sell red candle. Those are some indicators that I use on my charts. Uh, Breaking a trend line, but without Knoxville divergence, which is a common indicator on my charts. How do you decide what indicators will determine your entry? Is it because it's a ranging pair like the Euro Canadian that you used reversal tabs? It feels like there's more art to this than just indicators. So here's my answer. It's really quick and um, it's pretty simple. I described trading in a recent webinar as more of a practice session with a musical instrument with a band backing you up than some kind of scientific experiment where you're combining. Imagine these two differences. One is trading is like going into practice a song with a band and you practice that one song until you get it right. And there's, there's, there's of course specifics to it. You go in there with your drums, your guitars, your whatever, and you play those according to the notes. But right, there's style, there's how hard you play it, how hard you beat the drums, the, the, the tempo, the rhythm, all of those things. And then, you've, and, and then the genre of music, there's a lot of art to it, but there's also, there's also some science to it. There's tools that you bring to the table that you use and that everybody knows how to work with. And those are tools. Now, there's a mistake that's often made in trading that trading is more like uh, being a chemist where you're trying to make methamphetamine and you combine a certain amount of chemicals together in a very exact way. Otherwise, it's going to explode and it's the same every time and it produces a similar result every time. Now, I think that is an incorrect assumption about the way trading in a discretionary chart will, will go. That's actually hugely problematic and definitely not, in my opinion, uh, the way you want to go. And the reason for that is, is it's, it's never the same. It's never the same every day. The market's going to throw at you different economic reports and different expectations and different surprising economic reports and unscheduled announcements and order flow and options expiries and European session traders and holidays in one country, but not holidays in another. I mean, the the infinite variety of combinations make it very difficult to turn this into some kind of a scientific experiment. And the, the robotic trading methods that I've seen work over time that treat it more like science have either uh, giant stops and small profit targets, or they have really, really tight stops and giant profit targets. And there's almost, there's almost zero correlation between the indicators that they use because all indicators are kind of lagging. And so the only thing you can bring to the table is risk and reward, which is not really a suitable way to trade a discretionary account unless you want to end up hanging yourself by your garage door opener. So to answer the question again, what you want to do is you want to become really familiar with your your tools and you want to, you want to look at yourself as a trader, like you are a musician. And as this musician, you're walking into the studio and you're sitting down with your tools, your drums could be your Knoxville divergence and your drumsticks could be your reversal tabs and your foot pedals or whatever on a guitar could be like your, um, grab candles. Now you, you want to have those specific tools and you're not going to end up playing a different instrument every day. You're not doing that, but every day you're going to walk in and you might practice a different song and you walk in and you get the lay of the land. You, you kind of see what the rhythm of the session is. Is it trending on a long-term chart? Okay, let's trade with the trend. Is it ranging on short-term charts? Can I just take a bunch of range bound trades? And you decide that for the day, you're going to practice a style of music or you're going to practice a song or you're going to get into the rhythm of the market. Now you might say, well, God, how am I ever going to do that? Well, the answer is time. I mean, what musician ever played in, in Carnegie Hall without practice? I mean, what the hell do you want, right? Now, David, I'm not criticizing you, of course, but, but hold on a second. Un- unless you want to follow me exactly in the chat room, which I would recommend you do, it's going to take you a long time to develop that rhythm and that that fit so that you understand what you're going to play for the day. Now, today, Wednesday, March 4th, I got the rhythm all wrong. I got it completely wrong. I had a 13 pip loss and I had a 21 pip loss. I just stopped trading. I'm not in rhythm today. It's, it's not working for me today. 
I, I got it wrong. Now, even musicians who are world famous for being excellent had their days where practice just didn't go right. Now, it didn't keep them from practicing, but they recognized it. Not every musician or band has great live shows every time. But when you're in the lab and you're making meth, you don't have the option of having an explosion one day. You got to get it right. You got to get it precisely right. When you're doing surgery, you don't have the option of dropping a junior mint inside your patient. You got to get it exactly right. And what I'm encouraging you to do is take your focus off of a style of trading which is false precision, where you're trying to be more scientific than is reasonable to be. And the answer is get into a rhythm, get yourself situated, decide what, what kind of song you're going to practice for the day. Reversals, ranging, trending. Just make a decision about it. Don't obsess about it. Don't, don't sit around thinking that there's a right and a wrong answer to that. We're not doing science. We're doing, we're doing art with a set of tools that we use all the time. So you, what you want to do is instead of getting married to a system, you want, to get, you want to get intimately familiar with tools. You want your drumsticks to be your constant companion. You want your Knoxville divergence indicator to be your constant companion. You want to draw pictures of it freehand in your notebooks, just thinking about it. You want your grab candles, if, if you're Roggy Horner, or you want your, your pivot points. These are the things that you might want to have as your constant companions, your best friends, and you, you become intimately familiar with them. So if you are a drummer and you walk into a session with a new band, and they say, we're playing, we're playing rock and roll. You get out your drumsticks and you're ready to play rock and roll because you know how to make the drumsticks and the drums play rock and roll. That's what trading is like on a discretionary basis, especially from the short-term charts. Thanks, David, for your question.